Hi, in this video we're going to go over some copy and pasting or dragging and dropping functionality of VirtualBox and uh, copying stuff between the VM and the host and vice versa. So right now I've got a Windows Server 2016 virtual machine running within VirtualBox. Uh, VirtualBox is right back here. And we see we've got this one running. Uh, I've got a Windows 10 professional host. So the, the problem we're trying to solve is I have this file right here called Ness's Home. I want to drag and drop it over here. As you can see, Ness's Home has uh, it's a text file, and it has that red circle with a slash through it, which means uh, I'm not going to be able to drag and drop it. Uh, it's a Ghostbuster sign or the removal of the speed limit sign in Europe. So if I let this go, look at that, it goes right back. So kind of annoying. So let's do a check here on the virtual machine settings to see if we have the drag and drop enabled. The other functionality, in addition to a drag and drop, is a shared clipboard between the host and the virtual machine. The shared clipboard allows me to copy something and paste it so I can copy this, uh, let's just copy that right there, right click in here and paste it. But you notice paste is grayed out. So that's not working either. So to, to verify these settings, we're gonna do a couple things. First, if you press the, the host button in VirtualBox, once from within the virtual machine, that is the right control button. And then we're going to press home the home key which brings up the virtual machine menu uh, let's just look at the machine settings first we'll click on advanced and you notice on this one it's already set to shared clipboard and drag and drop but it is still not working so what we need to do is check something else and probably do this. So again, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to press the host key and home, go to the menu. Now I'm going to go to devices and we're going to go here to insert guest additions CD image. What this will do is it'll put a virtual CD on this computer that has some tools that will allow us uh, greater capabilities between the virtual machine and the host. If you're familiar with VMware, this is the VMware tools. So I click on that, and I'm going to go to the File Explorer, and I should see that drive right here. It's the D drive on this system. I'm going to install these VBox Windows Editions. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this right here. Uh, this machine is 64-bit. Click on yes. And now it should install, uh, walk through the install here of these guest editions. Click on next there. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. It'll take a couple seconds here to install. Go ahead and click on install here. And if you're stuck in scaled mode, uh, you can hit the host key and C like that to get you out of scaled mode. As you can see, it's going to ask you to reboot. So go ahead and reboot uh, right here. Click on finish. And then once that restarts, hopefully we have solved the drag and drop or shared clipboard problem. It'll take a second for this machine to reboot. All right. It looks like the machine has finally rebooted. So let's do our test. So we're going to test two things. First off, let's just double check to make sure uh, we still have those advanced settings enabled. So let's check that real quick. So remember, uh, we can do the uh, home key, uh, the host key and home to bring up the menu. Let's go to file, whoops, sorry, machine settings, advanced. They're both set for bi-directional. And now we've installed the tools. So if you click on the uh, system tray here, you see we have the VirtualBox guest editions running. 
And now I'm going to take that same Nessus file, drag it and drop it, and look, it looks like we can copy it. So it copied. <clears throat> so the tools, I'm sorry, the additions, they're called tools in VMware, uh, the additions right here worked. So let's try one other thing. Uh, let's try the copy and paste. So I can right click on this, copy, right click here. We still can't paste it. So that doesn't look, to, look like that's working, but the drag and drop works. So we should be good to go. Let's try one other thing. Let's see if we can open a file here. Uh, go with Notepad, maybe. Nope. Just a little bit slow. This Notepad. I'm going to type in some text. I'm going to right click on this or highlight it, right click, copy. I'm going to go over here to this file on the host, and I'm going to paste that in there. So it looks like our paste worked uh, for text between the virtual machine and the host. Uh, let's try it the other way. This is super cool, like the coolest thing ever. So right click on that, copy. So again, this notepad here is on the host, and I'm going to go over here. Delete that, right click, and paste. So that does work, but I cannot, let's try this, copy a file and paste it, uh, but I can copy and paste text, uh, which makes uh, sense because we can drag and drop a file uh, and the text is in the clipboard, but the file would not be in the clipboard. So that's how we solve the problem of getting information uh, from the host to the guest in VMware and vice versa. If you have any questions about this, you can leave it beneath the video. Uh, so please subscribe to our channel. We'll have more cool videos, probably even cooler than this one. I know it's going to be hard to, um, to top this one, but we'll have some cooler videos uh, later on as well. Thanks and talk to you later.